me flies coming off. It's very easy to tie. The other variations, uh, this is a small detached body. It's a coffin fly and I've used snowshoe uh, rabbit for the wing and for the tail fibres I've used micro fibbits. Really tied in much, much the same. The body, uh, it's, fit, it's easy. What I've done here is I put a fine needle into the vise. Now I've got some ether foam here. Now it's four, three to four mil square for the bigger flies. And you reduce it to suit the size of the fly that you're actually tying. And all you do is obviously needle into the vise, slightly cut it into a point, put it on, just at the point itself into the needle to hold it. Now the thread I'm using is a yellow AO uni. I go once, twice, three times. Bring the waist piece underneath. We don't trim this away because it's holding the fly together. You'll see later on in the fly. Now you want some moose mane fibres. Just maybe it's up to you. Depends on how thick the, the moose mane is, the fibres are. These are quite fine, so I'll, you're looking at a good half a dozen or so. The length of the tail, slightly longer than the body. All I do is simply sit it on the top and then come in and go one, twice, bring the thread underneath and onto the needle. Start stretching it up. Now keep a hold of these here, don't let them go too much. And the waist piece, you want that, tie it down as well. And you just take the thread up, go one, two, underneath. Again, one, two, three, underneath, stretching out the thread as you go up, forming the body. Make the segment slightly bigger as you go, one, two, three, again, do the same, and on to here, one, two, three, and then go straight in and whip finish. You can do it by hand or you can use the long reach whip finishing tools that you can get. Three turns is enough. Again, trim this a good distance. You can trim this away, which I do at times, just trim it out of the road, the waste. Then all we have to do is slide it off the needle. Let's just take it off. And you'll see it and actually it wants to curve like that. See? Now sits nice in the water, really, really nice. Now set it on the table, take your needle out. Can we come in a wee bit closer? Now the hook I'm using is a, a lightweight grub hook. Ideal. It's got the long gate, the wide gate. It's got a nice area where you want to tie the fly. You don't want a hook the full length of this fly because it just defeats the purpose. The lightweight of the, the fly, you want to reduce the size of the hook. But keep the gape size if you can and these grub hooks are actually ideal. Now I'm going to use a slightly stronger thread. This is a 6 o uni. I'm putting a layer of thread down, try and line with the point, bring the thread back up. Now for the wing, I'm going to use the dyed yellow elk here. Get a good pinch of it, clean out the under fur, all this rubbish here, because I'm not stack if you don't do that. Get it into a hair stacker. Tap it on the table. Lines all the tips up for you, take them out. Now, to balance the fly, you're looking the length of the body is the length of the wing. Okay, and that goes forward to the eye. So you go there, nice and tight. That's why you need the heavy thread. Much the same way you do a comparison. Just make sure the hair stays on top. Come in at the back. I've kept a hold of these hairs, these ends I want to cut away. Come in at an angle and trim them away. Tied up the best you can. That's it, and then bind it down nice and tight. 
you can tidy this up with some dubbing. I'm just bringing the thread in front here, just to slightly lift the wing a wee bit. You're happy with that, which I am. Get your detached body. Now you're going to tie it in on the last segment where you tied off. And you know the, the waist piece and the, the tying thread that I brought up with it. And we tie these as well. See, that's part of the fly. So we just offer it into the side at the back. So we just don't catch any hair. Make sure that's out of the road. So you bring it in nice and tight. You may catch one or two hairs, but don't worry about it. These two ends here, you can actually again bring them to the front here and make sure they're tied in because that's what's holding the body together. Just trim them away. I can bring the thread to the back again. This one caught here, trim it away. That's just where you have to tidy up. Whatever fur you want to use, whatever you like. A nice so much obviously they're similar to the colour you're tying. Uh, I'm going to use some seals for Just a matter of dubbing it onto your thread. Nice and tight. Take some underneath here. Just move your body out the road while you're doing this. Bring it to the front, just have a wee quick look. It's okay. Just a wee drop more, just for the front. Anything going forward that I just stroke it back and put tons of thread in front. These will hold, tons of thread will hold that out the road. Now, what you've got to do now is just to pull or split this evenly so you get some wing at the side. Now just normally I just stretch the foam slightly and pull everything back. Have a look. That's alright to me. Fine. And just come in. Nice and tight. Threads in front. Pull this down. Three or four turns all should hold. And then bring the thread in front again. Keep all the thread, don't let it go. And then come in finish. Now trim away your waist. Trim it. Don't, don't trim this right up close to the turns of thread. Leave a wee bit. It looks better. Finish is much better. Spread the wing a wee bit. If you're happy with that, you know, which I am. Come in here. Just bring out some of the seals for the your Velcro. Helps to float the fly. Now, you can actually taper that a wee bit better. The top. Take the corners away, as I'm doing here. It's up to you. You can leave it. It doesn't make much difference. To that, it looks much better. Then, now, obviously, when the duns are coming off, there's more oil than this. It's the reason why I'm using... Uh, yellow ether foam because what I'm going to use is a Pantone pen to colour up the body very easy to do this is a nice olive the code is 119 if you want to get the exact one now it takes a wee while for it to dry so because it's gone to the ether foam itself just take your time And that's you. And that's my detached bodied mayfly.